Hi everyone, welcome to the Celebrity Diaries. Megan Good is a flexible American entertainer with a total assets of around $6 million as of May 2012. Her vocation started when she was simply a kid, and she has figured out how to keep up with a solid presence in the diversion industry well into adulthood. Good is generally perceived for her driving job in the NBC show series, Double Dealing, and has become well known through a scope of network shows and movies. Good's profession took off during the 2010, a decade when she partook in various acting open doors and set her notoriety as a capable and trustworthy entertainer. Despite the fact that her vocation has advanced throughout the long term, she stays dynamic on TV with late jobs in well-known shows like Californication, Double Dealing Mr. Robinson Minority Report, and Harlem as per well-off virtuoso. Megan Products assessed profit could be anywhere from I-115,000 to Erd 60000 per episode contingent upon the venture. This pay, combined with her appearances in major movies like Shazam, Anger of the Divine Beings, Day Shift, and The Interloper, has added to her significant profit at the level of her vocation. Her yearly pay differed goodly at times, coming to up to $1 million with a normal of around a 323000 every year, regardless of the variances in her pay over the years. Good's commitment to her art and her capacity to explore the evolving scene of the business have made a difference. Her keep and effective profession spec Megan Good was brought into the world on August 8, 1981, in the Display City neighborhood of Los Angeles. She experienced childhood in an exceptional social climate molded by her different legacy. Her mom, Tyra Woe Doyle, was her supervisor during her high school years and assumed a vital part in directing Good's early profession. Her dad, Leondis Leon Good, filled in as a cop for the LAPD. Good's family line is a rich mix of various societies. Her maternal grandma was of Jewish and African descent, while her maternal granddad was of Cherokee legacy on her dad's side. Good's grandma was Puerto Rican in the dark, and her granddad Hill was from Barbados. This different foundation added to her multi-layered character. What's more, comprehension of various societies experiencing childhood in Gully Nation, currently known as St. Nick Clarita. California Good was encircled by her family, which included her more seasoned sister and individual entertainer, Lamea Good, as well as two other kin. Megan started her acting vocation quite early in life, around four years of age, and her mom assumed an instrumental role in sustaining her initial interest in the performing expressions regardless of confronting early vocation difficulties, for example, being thought of as super geeky and having particular highlights like whole teeth and wavy hair. She held herself with certainty, accepting that others would ultimately perceive her extraordinary characteristics. She found her voice and embraced her singularity. However, she concedes she didn't play part models in her early stages. Megan Good's acting vocation started with a series of supporting jobs in well-known TV programs, for example, Dewey Hauer, M.D. Also, so be it. Her initial work displayed her ability and made ready for her future in media outlets at only 13 years old. Good handled her most memorable film job in the 1995 parody Friday. It was a huge step for the youthful entertainer, denoting her entrance into the universe of film. Good's most memorable significant advancement came in 1997 with her job as an upset teen CLA bodist in Cassie Lemon's basically acclaimed film ES Bio. Her exhibition acquired her two honor assignments, counting a selection for her first NAACP picture grant. This acknowledgement featured her true capacity as an entertainer, and what's more, it set her on a promising way in the industry before long. Good took on more modest jobs in the two movies and TV progressively advancing toward more adult part. Her experience on the Nickelodeon show, Cousin Skier, where she played Nina from 1998 to 2001, gave her a significant forward leap with a strong track down and helped her progress from young entertainer to grown-up entertainer. In 2003, Good experienced a critical year in her vocation. She landed jobs in the activity show Biker. Young men and the light-hearted comedy deliverers from Eva exhibiting her adaptability and capacity to take on various sorts of jobs denoted her shift from young entertainer to developing entertainer, and she kept on extending her reach that equivalent year. Good played the person Vanessa in one time of my significant other and children. However, she was subsequently supplanted by one more entertainer in 2004, 
She took on a main job in the activity film development featuring Close by Jordana Brewster. Sarah Cultivate and Jill Ritchie, her exhibition procured her a Best Entertainer selection at the 2005 Dark Film Grants, good kept on building her continue with jobs in movies. For example, The Picnic and the High Schooler Dance Film, You Got Served These Jobs displayed her capacity to assume various personalities and stories further laying out her as a skilled and versatile entertainer in Hollywood. In the 2005 she featured in the Blood and Gore movie Toxin and took on an unmistakable job in the Neo. Noir film block, the two of which showed her capacity to succeed in various sorts of narrating. Moreover, she played a job in Role Limits, coordinated by Malcolm D. Lee, where she depicted a person propelled by rapper and entertainer Bowo in 2006, Good Felt, she took her most memorable. Major featuring job in the Metropolitan Activity Show, Squander Profound, where she played the character Coco, this denoted a significant second in her profession, as she embraced the chance to convey a film as a main enter. Tainer that very year, Good extended her voice acting abilities by loaning her voice to a character in the computer game Scarface. The world is yours. The next year she proceeded with her fruitful streak with a job in the dance film, Step the Yard co-featuring with Neo and her life as a youngster. Companion Columbus short in the 2008 Good Beginning in the Blood and Gore movie One Miss Call. Shelley bombed a doomed school understudy and showed up as a furious prize spouse in the Mike Mears parody. The Adoration Master Sometime thereafter, she took on her job in the well-known Blood and Gore movie. Sav, as one of the Casualties game players, exhibited her reach in 2009, featuring in the otherworldly thrill ride. The unborn close by Gary Oldman and Otis Eustman, her capacity to deal with different sorts effortlessly kept on dazzling crowds what's more. Industry experts said the same in 2012. Adaptability was important for the cast in the group Romecom. Have a similar outlook as a man, which depends on Steve Harvey's 2009 book Carry On Like a Woman. Have a similar outlook as a man. The film was an outcome and cemented good spot in the class. She repeated her part in the 2014 spin-off. Take on a similar mindset as a man. Two products adaptability stretched out to TV too. In 2013, she featured in the NBC show series Double Dealing. When her representative educated her regarding the opportunity goods close to home response, featured her enthusiasm for the task. She sat in her vehicle and weeped for 30 minutes, profoundly moved by the possibility of taking on the job. Notwithstanding her acting work, Good has shown up in music recordings for specialists like 50. Penny envisions Isis, including her sister, lying good. Lil Johnny Memphis, Blee Tyrese, and Will Smith her contribution in these projects, exhibits her capacity to associate with various crowds and extend her presence across different parts of media outlets and other business projects, notwithstanding her fruitful acting profession. Megan Good has taken critical steps as a maker and creator. She laid out her own creation organization. Opportunity span furthermore, diversion close by individual entertainers through this adventure Good is effectively setting out open doors for different narrating and giving a stage for new voices in the business. One of Opportunity Scaffold Diversion's most recent creations is the show on Netflix. The series has been generally welcomed and has recently been restored briefly. The show includes a gifted cast that incorporates Kendall Fuel and Jenna Nolan, among others. Fans can look forward to watching the second season, which is set to air on September 14th on the streaming stage. Structure Abel K separated from her work in film and TV. Good has likewise had an effect in the abstract world. She co-created the book The Weight with her ex Devin Franklin. The book shares experiences into their own romantic tale and offers counsel to perusers about developing satisfying connections. The Weight underlines the significance of persistence. What's more, self-esteem chasing enduring love, giving an insightful point of view on dating and connections through her various endeavors. Megan Good proceeds to move and inspire others. Her work as a maker, entertainer, and creator illustrates her commitment to her art and her obligation to decidedly influence the lives of others. And obviously, with such an achievement, Megan Good can carry on with an incredibly agreeable life in the chateaus that we will present not long from now. In Hollywood Slopes. Thanks for watching this video.